We're with Dan Mater, who is one of the heroes in training, and he has uh, been deeply involved in the program for quite a long period of time. He's probably been the most prolific of our writers, and today I wanted to uh, give you, Dan, copies of the pictures of the different people that you've interviewed. Here's one with uh, Jim Laslovic at uh, KNSD Channel 39 with the other heroes in training. And then I also wanted to give you a picture of your interview with uh, Patrick Reynolds, who is the heir of the uh, tobacco fortune that gave that up to basically fight a battle against cancer and cigarette smoking. And then I also wanted to give you a certificate of appreciation for your tremendous help in the heroes program. And of course, uh, every heroes in training gets their uh, hero card. Here's your real life hero card. And I wanted to ask you, Dan, uh, what impact has the Heroes Program had, as you, had on you as an individual? Well, I think uh, the most important thing that's happened to me is that I've seen that uh, true heroism is often a lot more subtle than the common definition implies. Uh, the media would like us to see that the hero is uh, someone who does heroic, just incredibly brave act, saves some little child's life. But I think, really, uh, the future of the youth of America hinges a lot more on the everyday heroes. Uh, I know everyone keeps looking back to that, but I think it's really the crux of the matter, is that we need to look to the local heroes and the people in your community that make the community run. Mm -hmm.